Saving Private Jimmy as good as swine flu. No, no, no. That's a horrible disease. I'm the director of this movie, so I'm not going to let you associate my movie with that disease. Try again. Saving Private Jimmy as bad as swine flu. No, no. Bad. We want our movie to be good. We want the audience to think our movie is good. All right. Swine flu is bad also. So don't use that example anymore. Go. All right. Saving Private Jimmy as good as a halfway decent movie. Um, a little bit more. A little more. Come on, come on. You Saving Private Jimmy, it's as good as a good movie. Good as a, uh, good, as a good movie? Really? Yeah. Oh, okay, give, give more detail. More detail, please. It's the best thing since buttered biscuits. Buttered biscuits. Really? Yes. Buttered biscuits. In the narrator's defense, buttered biscuits are really good. Shut up, cameraman. You have no say in this. You know you're drooling a little from the left corner of your mouth. I don't care! Go! The Saving Private Jimmy, this is one action movie that'll jump up and shoot you in the face. It's so awesome. What? No! Okay. Oh, my face. It's saving Private Jimmy as good as not being punched in the face. <laughs> I'm working on the railroad all the long day. The name's Bond. James Bond. My thumbs up. What do you see? You're doing it all wrong. You gotta wear the, the bandana like this. Yo, I can't do that. <laughs> Colonel. Yeah. <laughs> What are you doing, medic? You were not trained to save people that way. You don't have them bleed on a pillow when you've got a medic kit over there. <laughs> Good evening, Sergeant Nichols. Colonel, Colonel, check it out. I got a light installed in my gun. It's really friggin' awesome. What? Don't you have something important to do today other than shine lights in the daylight? Yes. Like, really? No. <laughs> I don't know anything about fighting, sir. I haven't held a weapon since basic. We don't have a basic. You've probably never held a weapon in your life, soldier. Excellent. That's why he's going. Um, Alright. Uh... Take cover in the bank. There they are, sir. Can't see. My vision is blocked. You too. Go. Come on, come on. I think we're close enough, sir. Look, there's a chief. Let's get those invasion plans copied down. All right. Set me. Copy those down. Come on, I'm Get it together. Done. All right, we're good. Hey. Look, what's the chief doing? Carl! No, no. Support! Colonel, Colonel, Colonel! It's a Sarge, we need support right now! Weapons! Sarge! <laughs> Colonel, Colonel, this is Sergeant Nichols! I need support now! Now! Weapons! Sarge! So then I said, why buy a vacuum cleaner? You can just go buy a Febreze and scare mops to death. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that one never gets, whoa. Sergeant. Hello, Sergeant. Support fire. Car was shot to the face. Jimmy was shot, oh, well, that's not as bad. Support, right, we're on it. Let's go. Go. Colonel, sir! I'm here, Sergeant Nichols, what do you need? Jimmy's still outside the perimeter, sir! But he's Jimmy. Why do we need him? He copied down the invasion plans! With those plans, we could kill Von Stump. I'm going in. Cover me, you useless gun slinging monkeys! Come 
on, Jimmy Roy, your stuff up, man. We gotta go. Um, Jimmy, say something. Can you hear me, Jimmy? I'm cold, sir. I can't feel my legs. Uh, I don't have any medical explanation for your coldness due to the fact that it's summer. And it's like 80 degrees, but come on, we, we gotta go. Don't don't worry though, I'll, I'll drag you. I was trained for, for medics. Uh, no, sir, leave me here. Take the plans. Jimmy, that's ridiculous. When we get back to the world, I'm gonna finally teach you how to juggle. Swore it never been worth a nothing in this life, but I want you to know something. You were my brother, but like a... Hey. You stole that from Tropic Thunder. This I'm, is no time for sentiments. I'm trying to be sentimental now. But you know like that sort of brother that the other one outranks you in the military by a lot and really hates your guts and wishes you would die, but you know, we, we gotta rescue him because he's important somehow, you know, like that kind of thing. Wow, sir, do you really mean that? Yes, the second part. Now, come on, let's go. We gotta get you to the <laughs> camp and... Oh, yeah, yeah. What happened to this young man? Napping out back. Think you can save him? Yes. No, for goodness sake, we've been through this. You don't use a pillow to help dying men bleed out, all right? To do what you gotta do. But... Yeah. Wake up, Jimmy. Uh, I said wake up! Uh, uh, Freaking. Where am I? You are in your mind. Why is it so small in here? Because you're stupid. Really? I. I need to introduce myself first. Okay. I am your conscience. Dead. Where do those doors lead? Well, that one leads to the bathroom. That one leads to the, um... Oh, yeah. Where you came. And that one leads to the outside. My mind has an outside? Yes. It's very boring and dull, and it rains all the time. Why did you bring me here, O Ted? Because I must tell you something. Continue. I must tell you to attack from the west. Which way is that? I don't have a compass. When you get back to once you came, just find a compass and look at the west. Can I leave now? You need now? to attack from there. Can I leave now? Um... Oh yeah, and I need to tell you... You're going to fall in love with the fat chick. Okay, now you can leave. Until we meet again! This is a closet. Oh. <laughs> no! This is my chair! You punk! You got it! Use that door! Use the bathroom! <laughs> Maybe you'll leave from there.